是哪个国家的？呃，我是法国人。法国的。说的普通话可以啊，<笑>一点点。<笑>好，好，中国可以哈。好，好，好，好，再见啊。谢谢。Hey guys, so today I've taken a bit of an adventure, and I'm coming to d a p e n g a fortress, which is a old city in the o u t s k Okay, let's let's go. So it's quite typical, and uh, obviously it has become a bit touristic, but apparently not that much. So that's uh, interesting to see. And and today, as the weather is not fantastic, there's not a whole lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, no. Uh, I'm f r o g o r e a n Was it called the Yiwen Tower? This is the ancestor hall, which you can see in some uh, old village in Hong Kong, actually. But this one is uh, far larger. Yeah, so the sun is coming out, so it's still very cloudy, and it seems there's a lot less people. So I'm going to take my photo now. Okay, so I'm continuing the tour. There are some real houses actually, and uh, and uh, I probably have to get some food at some point. I'm starting to get really hungry, so yeah, let's continue. Some uh, 
interesting things and that's how I can uh, translate that into uh, photography but uh, some uh, idea of composition I'm gonna try it. They do have some uh, really touristic spots though, like those uh, kind of uh, hipsters, coffee. Okay, so I've been here for maybe 30 to 45 minutes and uh, I think I'm getting too excited and photograph a bit of everything. So I need to be more careful about my composition and the photo I take. Uh, I've just loaded my second roll of Portra 400 and I still have uh, two rolls of Trix and a round roll of A cross and on top of that I have a roll of uh, trike 35 mm so yeah let's continue interesting place um, I'm still walking through the narrow streets and uh, I, I think I've missed one part so far so I probably have to go back on my steps and uh, I'd like to finish on the main road and have lunch there actually it will be a late, late, late lunch by the time I finish okay so this is the type of typical home where people live it's very rare to see this here because in China they don't really care about the heritage they build everything new but yeah surprisingly this has survived and a lot of people still, still live here so that's really nice to see I don't know for how long but uh, yeah at least uh, I have the pleasure to, to see it have a peek at uh, what I haven't seen much so far the agricultural part of, uh, of China so we can see some culture there and actually it's uh, quite mountainous here it's all surrounded by mountains I know there's one mountain that is uh, around 900 meter high okay I'm gonna take a look at this tower and after that I will go to have lunch After having lunch, I hopped onto a bus to Shenzhen, which is one hour away from Dafeng. It was a pleasant journey that gave me a glimpse at the rural life in Guangdong. Not only photographing, I was also able to have limited discussions with people which made the day even more enjoyable. It also motivated me to keep exploring other areas of China, and I hope I will be able to share this with you very soon. I'm back to the first station. It has been quite a journey and because I don't know very well, I think I could have done it uh, better and uh, transfer earlier at one of the MTR stations, but uh, never mind. I can go back to Lowo now. And that's it for today. I was up for one hour journey back home. I hope you enjoyed the video and keep shooting. See you next time.